What's good, Kangaroo Mob? It's your boy, Hostile Kangaroo. You know what we do. We back with another video. I'm trying to upload. You know, you, I know you see me. I'm trying to upload. We back here with a story time. This story here is about my injury in 2018 slash 2019. What happened was, I was training over the summer basketball right and I broke my finger how I don't know I'm just fragile when it comes to fingers but your boy is recovering over the course of six months I was literally injured broken finger could barely use my hands the left hand now if you guys know me or you know you know, if you know me personally or you watch my videos consistently, you may or may not have noticed my injury. I had to wear a splint. Let me show you guys what a splint is. This is a splint. I had to wear this on my finger. And, um, yeah, I think I did maybe one or two videos with it. I literally had to wear it like three weeks and it overextended my middle joint and my pinky I couldn't move these two fingers at all I was like stuck eventually I was able to move my ring finger but this finger was a little off as you can see now tip of my finger so I thought I broke my finger and I had a wet splint I went to the doctor because I couldn't move my finger. And overall, I thought I was being positive. You know, I thought it was going to work out, but it did. I literally had to go through so much just to get my finger back working. But it stopped working for, like I said, six months. I eventually learned how to play basketball and do a bunch of stuff with my finger without people noticing that I had a broken finger. Most people didn't even notice, unless you were close or you shook my hand and was like, why is this finger like that? Or, I know you may have noticed, but most people didn't because I'm slow, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's slow, you know what I'm saying? I had to literally wait six to seven months just to get a surgery. I went through physical therapy, a whole bunch of stuff, and I still went to school, work, and try to make videos for you guys with a broken finger. So that's kind of why at the end of the year I was lagging a little bit. It wasn't because I didn't want to make, you know, videos, but it was mainly because I was busy. I had a lot I was going through. However, I eventually got my surgery date December 7th. I had to go through basketball tryouts, which was crap, by the way. I had to go to, to tryouts with a broken finger. I feel like I played amazing with the broken finger. But, I didn't end up doing the best I could. Not only did the coach notice, but the coach only picked the players that he already knew. Which I seen that from the first day of tryouts. I was like, I see what this is. I didn't go to conditioning because I couldn't even move my hand. I didn't go to anything else. So the coach didn't know me. Unless he knew from last year, but that's too long ago. And this year was like, Tryouts was, nobody made it that was even kind of unknown. People was on their phones, it was, tryouts was terrible. That's another story time if I ever do one. Anyways, going up to the surgery, I had so much to work out. I had to get my days off, I had to get all my work done, I had to get everything just to get through surgery. Which, by the way, I wanted surgery in the beginning, but my doctor wouldn't give me surgery because she said it was too dangerous. Which only made me wait three months longer. But I finally got my surgery. I had to wake up at four in the morning just to get to the surgery. Although the surgery was at 11 a.m., I was there at 5 a.m. I took pictures, I did a lot. Went through surgery, came out, I was so sleepy. Going into surgery, I was in a bed 
it was the cart, they rolled me there, it was asking me questions. They're like, oh, this and that, this and that. What color do you want your cast or whatever? And I'm like, okay. Answering questions and I just ended up falling asleep. Couldn't even control sleeping. Didn't even know that I was gonna fall asleep. I knew that I was gonna be in anesthesia, but I didn't know that they had injected it already. So I was, I was asleep. <laughs> your boy was just asleep. I didn't, I couldn't control it. I woke up, it was a dark room. This lady next to me. I tried to move and she ended up like pushing me down. I'm like, no, no, what? Where my mom at? Like, where are you at? And she like, oh, you, you just woke up, you're in recovery. And I was like, no, nah, where my mom? mom. I ended up falling asleep again. When I woke up, I was in the same room. The lady was still there, but this time they had this big man in front of the thing. I guess they thought I was gonna try to walk out, which I probably would've, because I didn't know anybody in that room, but I fell asleep again, like five seconds later. Woke up, mom in the chair, doctors, lights. I was like, okay, now I'm safe. Then, Ended up having my arm in a cast. And it wasn't a colored cast, it was a dressing that I only had to wear for, I think it was a week. So it was no color, they didn't put in wax or anything, it was just a wrapping. I had to go to school, I had to wear a whole sling, and people were looking, people were wondering like, oh, you okay, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, just don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, night after the surgery, came home, I was drugged up, couldn't move my arm. I had tons of videos. Couldn't even move my arm. Moving my arm was like, I, yo, I felt like I had like erectile dysfunction in my arm. Like I had no control, no control. I'm telling you, no control. The recovery I've made so much, so much progress. I went from not being able to bend my finger to making a fist. I still gotta go to physical therapy, but as you can see, it's getting better. I could bend it. I could move it. I could actually play basketball. It hurts. I haven't played basketball because I've been making videos for you guys, but I'm having fun. You know, I still watch basketball. I still play basketball. The recovery is being, is great, man. I can't ask for anything better. I've learned so much. I've learned throughout the whole journey that getting through it is just the best part. You have to stick it out no matter how hard it seems and no matter how hard it looks. And now I'm almost recovered. Now I can fight in it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it for this story time. I'm gonna go run out of time, so uh, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. See you guys next time.